when ethene C2H4 uh, gas is completely combusted, carbon dioxide, which is CO2 gas, and water vapor, H2O gas, are produced according to the following balanced equation. One mole of C2H4 plus three moles of O2 um, yields two moles of CO2 plus two moles of H2O gas, water vapor. Um, if it doesn't say that the uh, equation is balanced, I wouldn't take it for granted. I would check and see if it's balanced It's uh, yourself. Um, they may be trying to trick you. Uh, however, I checked it, the equation is indeed balanced. Um, so the first, um, so if 11.2 liters of car uh, carbon dioxide gas is produced at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, um, calculate the mass of water produced. All right, so uh, the first um, clue to use using the, uh, the, the universal gas law, PV equals NRT, um, you would want to use that in this equation because all of the reactants and products are in the gas phase and they're giving you the amount of carbon dioxide um, the product in they're expressing it in volume so the universal gas law tells us that at equal for um equal moles of gas at the same temperature and pressure will occupy the same volume. So STP, uh, standard temperature, is defined to be 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, standard pressure is 1 ATM or 101.3 kilopascals or 760 millimeters of mercury. Uh, depending on the units, uh, the universal gas law uh, the constant would R would might look a little different, but uh, one of the values you'll see in textbooks is 0 0.0821 liters times ATM uh, times Kelvin to the negative one times mole to the negative one. Um, it's important to keep track of the units um, when doing the calculations. Uh, so I set it up, you plug in the values into the, uh, the gas law, you're going to get N is equal to 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide gas. Notice how the units all cancel out in the equation uh, with the exception of moles. That sh you should check that out when you're doing... Um, doing the this problem on your own. Uh, so the next tool we have is, now we know for a fact now that 0.5 moles of CO2 gas is has been formed. So we're gonna go back to the balanced equation and we will see that for every two moles of carbon dioxide gas formed, we have two moles of water vapor formed. So it's in a one-to-one -one molar ratio. The molecular weight of water is 18.02 grams per mole. Uh, this is where Stoichi, um, I mean, dimensional analysis becomes a huge, huge skill with these problems. Uh, we want to cross out the units. So 0.5 moles of CO2 times that can simplify to one-to-one. -to -one. However, notice how the units cancel out. Moles of CO2, gone. Moles of H2O, cancels out. And we're left with grams of H2O, water vapor gas. We get that, the answer is 9.01 moles of water vapor gas.